Pembrolizumab, marketed as Keytruda, is a groundbreaking medication in the field of oncology, primarily used in the treatment of various types of cancer. Its mechanism of action revolves around the modulation of the immune system, immunotherapy, specifically targeting the interaction between cancer cells and T-cells, which are crucial components of the immune system's response against malignancies. At the molecular level, pembrolizumab functions as a monoclonal antibody targeting the programmed DEATH1 PD1, receptor, a protein on the surface of T-cells. PD1 is an immune checkpoint that plays a key role in preventing the immune system from attacking the body's own tissues. However, many cancer cells exploit this checkpoint to avoid being attacked by the immune system. They express programmed death ligand 1, which binds to the PD-1 receptor on T-cells, effectively sending an inhibitory signal that reduces the T-cell's ability to initiate an immune response against these cancer cells. Pembrolizumab works by binding to the PD-1 receptor, blocking its interaction with its ligand. This blockade inhibits the PD-1-mediated signaling pathway, preventing the off signal from being sent to the T-cells. As a result, the T-cells remain active and capable of attacking and destroying cancer cells. By releasing the immune system's breaks in this way, pembrolizumab allows for a more robust and effective immune response against cancer. This mechanism of action has proven effective in treating various types of cancers. Pembrolizumab is primarily indicated for the treatment of advanced melanoma, a type of skin cancer, and non-small cell lung cancer. Additionally, it's approved for use in treating head and neck squamous cell carcinoma, classical Hodgkin lymphoma, and urothelial carcinoma. Its effectiveness across a range of cancers is attributed to its fundamental mechanism of enhancing the immune system's ability to recognize and fight cancer cells. Pembrolizumab is part of a broader class of drugs known as immune checkpoint inhibitors, which have revolutionized cancer treatment in recent years. Similar drugs that target the pd one pdl one pathway include nivolumab, Opdivo, and adazolizumab, Tecentric. Nivolumab, developed by Bristol-Myers Squibb, is another PD-1 inhibitor with a mechanism of action similar to pembrolizumab. It binds to the PD-1 receptor on T-cells, preventing PD-L1 from sending inhibitory signals. Adazolizumab, developed by Genentech, a member of the Roche group, targets the other side of the same pathway by binding to PD-L1 on tumor cells and immune cells, preventing it from interacting with PD-1 receptors. These drugs have emerged in a new era in cancer treatment offering hope to patients with various types of advanced cancers. Their ability to enhance the immune system's natural capacity to fight cancer represents a significant shift from traditional cancer treatments, focusing instead on harnessing the body's own defenses. The success of pembrolizumab and its counterparts in improving outcomes for cancer patients underscores the potential of immunotherapy as a cornerstone of cancer treatment. Merck's Keytruda has demonstrated a robust financial performance over the last few years. In 2019, the sales for Keytruda were $11.1 billion. This figure saw a substantial increase in 2020, with sales reaching $14.4 billion. The growth trajectory continued in 2021, with Keytruda generating $17.2 billion in sales. The upward trend persisted into 2022, with sales amounting to nearly $21 billion. This consistent increase in sales underscores Keytruda's significant role in cancer treatment and its market dominance. Adding to this, the patent for Keytruda is expected to expire in 2028, which will be a pivotal moment for Merck in terms of market competition and strategy.